cyber attacks are a real threat to the maritime industry. More and more security breaches are being reported. The safety of vessel operations is constantly at risk. Companies are losing millions of dollars. Crews, passengers and the environment are being put in danger. Digitalization and connectivity open up new opportunities. However, they also introduce unknown risks. Cyber resilience indicates the robustness of your information technology or operational systems. It is needed to enable companies to safely reap the benefits of interconnected, automated and digital ship and offshore operations. On a global level, we have the IMO resolution, the MSC 42898. This one confirms that all shipping companies needs to have cybersecurity in their management system. Flag states are encouraged to check this on the first annual audit after 1st of January 2021. So now cybersecurity is a regulatory requirement for the maritime industry. International and national regulations are entering into force. As well as the IMO regulations on cybersecurity, there is a range of regulations on a national and regional level. In addition to these, are further requirements that relate to cybersecurity and data privacy, such as the EU GDPR. This means that you should ensure that you are up to date on specific national and regional requirements relevant for you. Furthermore, there are commercial requirements which are important to follow to reduce financial risk and ensure you stay attractive for charterers. It is important to verify the insurance of your ships because there is a big probability that cybersecurity consequences will not be covered by your current insurance deals. As of January 2018, cybersecurity is evaluated as part of commercial contracts, such as the Tanker Management Self Assessment Scheme from Orkinf. It is also evaluated for dry cargo ships. For instance, Rideship has incorporated selected cybersecurity requirements in their assessment schemes. As a result, to comply, a tanker operator will have to reassess his management system with regards to cybersecurity. We at DNVGL provide guidance and support to help you tackle the opportunities and threats that come along with the increased use of cyber technology in our industry. We also help you understand the cyber landscape of international and national regulations, as well as commercial requirements. As cybersecurity will need to be addressed as a part of the company's safety management system as from the 1st of January 2021, DNVGL will have cybersecurity as a focus area in ISM audits, which we deliver as a recognized organization on behalf of flag states. The audit focus shall be agreed with the DOC holders in advance of the annual DOC audits. One of the main reasons for having DNVGL there is to help you with safety concerns. Cybersecurity can impact safety, and that's why we're addressing it. We have different units throughout our company that can help assess, improve, and verify cybersecurity. There are basically two kinds of cyber threats, intentional and unintentional. Examples of intentional cyber attacks are hacking or malicious software, known as malware. These may be performed by malicious hackers or disgruntled employees. Unintentional cyber incidents can be the result of operator misuse or design flaws. These include poor software maintenance, software bugs due to lack of testing, or inappropriate user permissions. There are also risks related to unintentional human mistakes. Effective cyber risk management should consider all relevant threats. Building cybersecurity resilience is no rocket science. It's all about people, technology, and effective processes. To identify the security controls with the biggest impact, we recommend you to start with a risk assessment of the vessel and the shore organization. Cybersecurity awareness and crew training are probably the best defense against any cyber threat. The focus on the human aspects should come first, before expensive hardware upgrades. However, some items may require altering a system's configuration, necessitate software upgrades or hardware replacements. Employing a combination of revised or new procedures and staff or crew training, along with possible technical mitigations, offers a practical and cost-effective solution. The DNVGL Cyber Secure Class Notation can be used to support IMO compliance. It can also increase the overall cybersecurity of your vessels, whether complex ships with high requirements or more simple merchant ships.
In addition, we have other units in the NVGL working with advisory, supporting you in building cybersecurity resilience, such as cyber risk assessment, cybersecurity management system support, and tailored training. We also have certified ethical hackers who perform penetration tests on board their vessels. The NVGL is there to support you, ensuring safe ships and operations in times of digital transformation.